We've reached the final out. It's time for the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, late inning heartbreak for BYU once again. Cougars led 4-3 into the eighth and lose the game 6-4. The Gales plated three in the eighth and do win it by two. Let's get you our big O tires on the rubber report to start our postgame coverage. We took a look at both teams' pitching numbers. We call it on the rubber. It's brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. St. Mary's pitchers go nine, give up eight hits, four runs, all of them earned, struck out seven, walked three, hit two, and threw 140 pitches and so are your on the day. BYU pitchers, they go nine, give up 11 hits, six run, five earned, Six walks, seven strikeouts, two hit batsmen, and BYU threw 160 pitches on the day. That's on the rubber. Brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Final score, St. Mary's 6 and BYU 4. The Cougars' three pitchers today were Bryce Robison, Cutter Clawson, and Peyton Cole. Cole went the final one and two-third. St. Mary's today using Lynchy for six, Enyart for two and two-thirds, and Riley Lamb gets the final out of the game off the bat of Ryan Sapiti. Those are the three pitchers for the Gales. We'll come back with our final stats at Maersk MVP and get you ready for game two in a moment on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now, back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. St. Mary's 6 and BYU 4, our final score in game one of two today and game two of this three-game series. Let's get to our Maersk most valuable player today. And for BYU, it will be Easton Jones getting his first start at third base and Easton getting his uh, first start in uh, a little while, like nine days. His last start was March 16th, so Easton gets the start, gets the start at third, and Easton went uh, two for three with a run scored on an RBI, and both of his hits were doubles. Easton Jones is our Maersk most valuable player. Brought to you by Maersk your e-commerce logistics shipping partner. Final stats brought to you now by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen, helping Utah families for over 30 years. BYU scores four runs on eight hits. There were two errors and nine were left on base. St. Mary's six runs on 11 hits, no errors, and 14 left on base. So in the series, games one and two, BYU's committed five errors, and St. Mary's has been clean defensively, no errors for the Gales. Winning pitcher today is Adam Enyart. He goes to 2-0. and Riley Lamb gets his first save of the season. The Gales get their fifth save of the year. And the loser for BYU is Cutter Clawson. He falls to one and two. Those are your stats, and that's your wrap-up for game one, six to four. Gales, that is our final score. We're going to conclude our broadcast for the time being, take a break of roughly 25, 30 minutes, and come back for game two on the BYU radio app only. So we're going to leave the FM signal at 107.9 and come back on the BYU radio app and byuradio.org in roughly 30 minutes. St. Mary's 6 and BYU 4, our final score in game one of two today here at Miller Park. We'll come back with the second in about a half hour on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Vorking, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorships, Casey Stoffer. BYU Cougars Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.